Okay. Good afternoon, everybody out there in YouTube land. So, uh, most of you don't know me. I'm pretty, uh, this channel's pretty new. And uh, about, uh, oh, three, four years ago, I decided to start getting out and being more active as I'm uh, overweight, need to lose weight. And that, uh, that led me to start doing a lot of outdoor adventures. And so, in the course of the last three or four years, I've accumulated a lot of gear. Uh, some of it's pretty common, some of it's not so common. Most of it you've probably seen, but hey, I thought I'd give my opinions on some of the gear that I have, and I'm in no way affiliated with any of the, uh, the companies that make the products that I'm gonna review. So anyway, bear with me. This is my first review video. So today, I thought I'd start with something pretty easy. I'll start with uh, my cold handle Frontier frying pan, as you can see there, cold handle. So uh, I saw these reviewed on multiple different YouTube channels. You've probably seen a lot. This one's the nine inch. Uh, it doesn't have any numbers stamped into the pan anywhere. Sorry, I'll try to keep that in frame. As you can see, I've seasoned this up pretty good and it does have some dents, you can see here. Um, that's the way it came, bought it on eBay. And I got this pan for $7.99 on eBay, plus $7.99 shipping, <laughs> which is a pretty good deal. It didn't have any holes in it when it came. It had uh, a couple of rusty spots, uh, so I cleaned it right up to bare metal, and then I uh, used the oven method to do the pre-season, and then uh, everything else has just been in use, and just burning that oil into the metal. Got a pretty good non-stick on it now, and I must say it works very well over, uh, you know, like a, a twig stove, over my uh, over my burners, my just Coleman single burners out in the bush, whatever, when I go for my backpacking. Uh, high quality, very high quality. I have to say I'm very happy that I went with this pan. Again, you've seen probably 100 videos on these. It has a pore spout here. You can see it. Try to move it in the light a little bit. Has a pour spout. I don't really make sauces in it because you know they they tend to loosen the seasoning and break them free. Not that that's a huge concern because it seasons up pretty quick and pretty easy. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about the pan. I recommend getting these if you can get your hands on one. A company named uh, Jacob Bromwell. They they were making these for a while, but uh, don't seem to be making them anymore. Sure would be nice if. Uh, we see a company come out and start stamping some more of these stamp steel pans. Again, these are known as many different things. Uh, the cold handle pan, the stamp steel frying pan, uh, carbon steel frying pan, frontier pan, cowboy pan. And it's just because it's one solid piece of stamp steel, okay? And then they've pressed the second piece of stamp steel. Let's see if I can get a shot of that there. Focus. See, they press this second piece of stamp steel around the handle, giving it an air gap underneath here, right? So this handle never really gets warm even when you're using it in an open fire. And that's what I bought this for. I bought it to use in an open fire. I also have a GSI Pinnacle. I'll be doing a review of that later. But uh, for backwoods camping and out of the canoe, the kayak, or even uh, backpacking, I mean, this pan really doesn't weigh that much. I don't have a scale here to weigh it. Uh, if you want to see it weighed, maybe leave me a comment underneath and uh, I can always pull out the kitchen scale and get it done. Right now I'm at the workshop. Uh, so yeah, it's a cold steel frying pan. Or sorry, the <laughs> cold handle frying pan, not made by cold steel. Uh, this one is vintage, it is an antique. I Like I said, there's no numbers on it to, to date it, but uh, this brand is not made anymore so just got to take care of it and after every use just like carbon steel just give it a wipe out you know maybe a light dusting of oil put it back in its bag and it's good to go for the next time and I really can't complain it's been it's been awesome I've had it now for a couple of months and I've used it a lot I've made everything from grilled cheese all the way up to frying steak in it it just, it, it handles it like a champ. 
All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Catch you on the next video.